Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Rodney, and I'm back, and I just wanted to come in and run my mouth and talk about some people. All right, y'all, let's get into this mess. So, Justin Combs. You know what I don't understand? You know, I'm not giving, you know, people who don't have a lot of money excuses because there is no excuse, right? Because we know that sometimes when people get behind the um, steering wheel of an automobile, Sometimes it doesn't end, um, it could end in a really bad situation for people, right? Which also could lead, I mean, could be, you know, someone being unalived. So while there's never really any, any excuse, why is it that the people who really can afford an Uber or a Lyft, you know what I'm saying? or even to hire a driver, they tend to get behind the wheel of a car when they know they probably shouldn't. Like, girl, we might be on our last $2. My last $2. Girl, we might be on our last $2, right? We might have only $20 in our pocket, right? And girl, some people will probably argue you need to stay at home and not be in them streets. But girl, the truth of the matter is sometimes a girl want to go have a cocktail, right? So you might get behind a steering wheel of your car, go out, so I'm going to have a cocktail, one cocktail turn into three. Again, it's not an excuse. But Justin Combs got a little bit of money. And we know his daddy got a little bit of money. And if his daddy ain't got no money, he needs to stop spending that money on Carisha and giving something to Justin for a We know Puff Daddy ain't hurting for no money. That's the only thing that I really don't understand, like with with people who have money. It's a girl, you have you really have more op you really have more options available to you than someone who may not be in the same tax bracket as you. Everybody believe I know again, it's not I don't want anyone to think I'm making excuses, but everybody really don't have twenty or thirty dollars to get to 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 you know, put towards an Uber every time they want to go out. Yes, it would be better if you did instead of getting behind the wheel of a car because you never know how the situation could end up. But realistically speaking, everybody ain't got $40, you know, just laying around to go out. Justin Combs arrested for DUI in Los Angeles. So this is according to the Neighborhood Talk. Neighbors get into this. Diddy's uh, son, Justin Combs, was busted for a DUI this weekend in uh, L.A. According to TMZ, he was busted Sunday in Beverly Hills after running a red light. The incident happened around 8 a.m. Um, was getting a look, was getting lit a look too early. Girl, what makes you think he was getting lit at 8 a.m.? Girl, he we, we was probably already getting lit from the night before. Hello? Um, the officer invested, I'm sorry, the officer initiated a traffic stop where Justin was found to be the driver. After a preliminary investigation, our sources tell us the cop felt there was enough probable cause to cuff him and call and, and haul him to jail on suspicion of driving under the influence. He's facing a misdemeanor DUI charge and his bond was set at $5,000. It's not known if he's still in jail or not. Thoughts? Well, girl, I'll tell you what his mama got to say, okay? Because I call her, I call her Mafia Misa. <laughs> Ain't her name Misa? Girl, I call Miss Thing Mafia Misa because she always looked like she just, like, don't play. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, she remind me, like, she low-key looked like she could have been on Mob Wives. <laughs> I know, it's something about that lady who just gives me, like, she just give me like she don't play. Anyways, so she got down to the Instagram, and this is what she had to say. I am not with none of that reality TV-ish. When is enough enough? Yeah, okay. I'm not protecting no one anymore, just my son. And all the children I love, and all the children I love, um, I'm sorry, and all the children I love a come to Jesus moment. The statement of fish rots down. I'm sorry. The statement of fish rots from the head down means that in addition to being a major contributing factor in a family organization's success, leadership is also the root cause 
of its failure and demise, the truth shall, shet, shall shet, set you free. Act bad. <laughs> Act bad, bad boy. <laughs> I used to want to be a bad girl. I chose to be a queen, tried and true. I'm not perfect, but I'm not intention but I am intentional. I should have kept my child with me. F F U C K U C L A too. Everybody can get it. How can you how you go from one of the greatest to ever do it to making all your money off alcohol and suing the alcohol company? Sell something healthy that builds people up. I'm sick of it. Not mine's. It's not mine, but I get what she was upset. Um, and Christina. Who is Christina? Girl, who is Christina? And Christina, if you ever try to handle me again, I will go straight across your head when I tell you. <laughs> When I tell you, girl, that's my new thing, girl, I'm going to go straight across your head, girl. You know I'm not going across nobody's head, honey. But, girl, you know this, but I'm, at least I'm going to say it. <laughs> I'm going to act like I am. <laughs> girl, when she said, girl, whoever Christina is, when she said, then Christina, if you ever try me, uh, if you ever try to handle me again, I will go straight across your head. <laughs> girl, I said, I know that's right. Stay out, uh, stay out the way. You are a nice person. <laughs> yeah. Baby, Mafia Missy just basically told her, girl, I love you, but girl, don't you ever try it again. Girl, I will bust you upside your head to the white meat, okay? Everyone is tough until it's time. Everyone is tough until it's time to be tough. Everyone has to sit, everyone has, uh, has to sit around for years and act like there isn't anything wrong with you. This is where the buck stops for me. <sighs> the first thing is this. Cause I don't know why in my head, in my head, I felt like Justin Combs was only like 21. Girl, <laughs> Justin is almost 30. Justin is 29. So, you know, I can't even really just give him an excuse like I was about to, like I was about to do. Like, y'all, he only like 20, you know, 21. <laughs> I'll be thinking these, I'll be thinking people be like way younger than what they really are. Um, I think what it is is because we know some of these celebrity kids, especially we we know them like from a young age, right? You know, and then we st I think we still think that like when we probably first heard about them, they were probably like ten or twelve. So you only think that it's only been like ten years when it's really only when it's been like twenty five. You know, um, yeah. So, anyways, um, Justin is twenty nine. Justin is going to be thirty this year. You know, so the first thing I want to say is, you know, girl, your son is grown. Your son is real grown. Your son is like 30. Girl, like, that's a grown man, right? But I also feel like something is going on over there. And Misa is trying to let us know. Because she said, I'm not with none of this reality TV-ish. So, for those who don't know, the word on the curb is... Puff Daddy is supposed to be shooting a reality TV show. That's what they say. Now, I don't know how true that is, but that's just, that's, that's what the rumor is. He's supposed to be shooting a reality TV show. I don't know why I feel like she going off because they caught this for the reality TV show. And now it's going to show her son on a reality TV show, like getting a, D, a DUI. I feel like that's why she brought up that reality TV ish because it's something to do with the reality tv show um you know i don't know what she meant by you know act uh bad bad boy i used to want to be a bad girl i chose to be a queen i don't know if that was a dig at carisha i don't know um but misa if it is girl carisha ain't doing nothing no different than what you was doing when you was her age now you want to be a queen because you 50 and you can't be in you know it ain't cute it ain't cute for Puff Daddy. Like I said, girl, the other day with that song, Act Bad, it kind of was like, kind of like cringy, like you got the old man out here with these young girls. It ain't cute for nobody out here to be 50 plus years old trying to be a hot girl or a hot boy. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I don't know if, uh, again, I don't know if this was a dig at Carisha, but Carisha ain't doing nothing no different than what me seeing the other girls was doing when they was 29. Get money. <laughs> okay? And getting fluid out. Okay? Except only now, Puff Daddy got more money than what he probably had when he was dealing with y'all. Let me see, you was all, girl, can I say something? Can I say something? 
Can I say something? <laughs> this is why the girls start acting like when they start acting brand new. I got to bring everybody down to earth a little bit. This is no tea, no shade to nobody's mama. I don't want to disrespect nobody's vibe. But Misa, it was you. It was Kim. May she rest in peace. It was probably Chan's mama. Then Cassie came in the picture. So all I'm saying is, it was a rotation. It was a rotation. It was a revolving door. We're not going to sit here and act like y'all probably ain't know about everybody. Now, Cassie was probably, you was probably out the picture before Cassie came in and Chance Mama. But we know Cassie was around when Kim was around. All I'm saying is, you know, you 50 now. So now you, now you know, you know, we start getting old. We start turning our nose up at the girls. Like, oh, girl, you still in them, girl, you in them streets doing damn well. We was hoes, girl. Weekend on top of weekend on top of weekend. But now, girl, you know, girl, we brand new. So, girl, we forget about what we did, you know? What did Drea, what did Drea say after seven years? Your wholeness, the, your wholeness the lead. Like, it's like your credit. That's what Drea said. Anyways, um, yeah, you know, I don't know what's going on with Puff Daddy. Uh, oh, another thing too. This is the one where she was like, everyone has sat around for years and act like there is anything wrong with you. This is where the this is this where the buck stops for me, because this is what I think happens. I think that when you're someone like Puffy who has power, money, access, and resource. And you probably, you know, I don't know what, you know. When you are probably, you know, making sure people are, you know, listen, when you paying folks bills, when you over there probably taking care of your mama, we know. You probably taking care of Chance, mama, I don't know, Right. So, you know, people are probably going to turn turn their head when you're probably giving them a little, you know, a little coin, a little a little allowance every month. And I think everybody kind of like turns their head and then the kids not going to say nothing because that's daddy, right? But I don't know if Misa was getting money from Puff Daddy or what. I don't know. I don't know if the check bounced. I don't know. But Misa said she ain't having it. And she done. What y'all think going on over there at that Combs at that Combs household? What y'all think? What y'all think? Y'all think that um when when Justin got arrested that the cameras were probably there and captured the and captured, you know, some of the mess that happened at least when he got down to the jail and that he was booked. And then when Misa found out, she said, Oh, absolutely not. Y'all would not have my child on TV. Because even 30, 30 years, 29, 30 years old, I don't think any mama or daddy, like, it's not like, girl, you know, who wants to see their son or daughter, like, even at 30, like, you know, being arrested on TV. I mean, I guess it is what it is, but. And Puff Daddy, if they are shooting a reality TV show, Puff Daddy is probably pulling all types of stunts and shows. I can see Puff Daddy, low key. Telling, like, setting it up where Justin got arrested just for TV. Because Puff Daddy gives me that type of tea. I don't know, y'all. When I went to see where, 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 where the story's still up on her uh, Instagram page, she had took him down. So I guess, I, I guess somebody must have called her and said Puff Daddy was mad. But Misa get me like she don't give a damn about no Puff Daddy being mad. I don't know. You really never know how people are. Girl. <laughs> okay, so Kanye West is about to come out with a new um, clothing line. <laughs> Kanye West, I think, is not, not not with a new clothing line. I think he's about to come out with his new. Um, his new, what is it called when they come out with it every uh, season? You know, his new um, his new line for the new season. Y'all get what I'm trying to say. And I don't know if these are some of the pieces that he plans on coming out with, but, you know, <laughs> girl, girl, 
Where is you and this lady going? Yeah, when I, I saw this bitch, I hollered in this apartment. Yeah, I said, girl, y'all look a fool. <laughs> girl, y'all look a fucking fool, matter of fact. Girl, where is you going? Kanye, Kanye got on some leggings. <laughs> yeah. Kanye got on some leggings. Those are shoes, I believe. They look like socks, but those are shoes. Now, I'm not going to lie. I told my sister, my, my sister looked at me like, mm. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I do like that shirt he got on with the, um, with the shoulder pads. I think that shirt is actually hot. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I will get that shirt. When I get when, when, if, if this if this if this if this uh, line comes out by the end of this year, and hopefully you know I got a little lipo done by the end, girl, because that's a little you know it's giving a little crop top feel. Girl, I'm gonna cop that shirt if it ain't too high, it ain't, if it ain't too expensive. I'm sure somebody come out with a knockoff on on ASOS or Forever Twenty One, um, and that'll do me just fine. <laughs> but anyways, girl, when I tell you Kanye got on. Some leggings, girl. That's that thick. Yeah, that's that real shit. That's that jelly, baby. <laughs> Champagne and cherry, baby. I got to learn the words before uh, words before September. That's that thick. That's that na na. That uchi kuchi ala. Yes, cause you ain't thick. I said, come on, Mister West. Girl, your wife look a fool. Why you got this lady outside with this on? This lady, this, this lady, girl, this lady, yeah. this lady got on a pillow. Yeah, this lady got on a pillow wrapped around her uh, shoulders. I love a fashion moment. But I just want people to realize, for me, to me in my honor, in my opinion, I think that everything is not meant for everyday wear. There are things that should only be worn for magazine shoots, you know, a runway moment, right? But to, to be walking down the street with your face covered up, girl with a pantyhose on, girl, this girl got a pantyhose over her face, girl, she got a pillow draped around her shoulders. Girl, I know she hot. I know she hot. Kanye got on some leggings, dick and balls, dick and ball print was all out the other day. Cause this is this is a second time. <laughs> this is the second time I've seen Kanye out with these leggings on. Girl, I'm not a leggings type of type type of guy. Um. You know, I think it's sexy sometimes when I see the guys like, you know, online with the leggings on in the gym. But even then, that's like a little too much to me. It's just like, I don't, I just feel like all your stuff is out. You know what I'm saying? I don't know why. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm not a big legging compression types type of person for men. <laughs> I ain't. Nah, hold up. <laughs> that's a lie. Because girl, on track and field, girl, because who going to watch track and field is me. <laughs> okay. I don't know, girl. I just think in this, I, it, I'm just, I'm just gonna leave it on Kanye. On Kanye, Kanye look a fool. Kanye, why is you walking around here at 45 years old? Kanye is 45. How old is Kanye? Hold up, y'all. Let's see how old Kanye is. Just a minute. <clears throat> Kanye is 45. Kanye 45 walking around here in these streets with girl some shoulder pads on. Girl, some leggings and some shoes that look like socks. <laughs> yeah. And then he got this white woman beside him with a stocking on her goddamn head, a pillow going around her shoulders. She covered up from head to toe. I know she hot. I know she hot. Y'all be doing too much in the name of fashion. I wonder who Kanye went to for his lipo. Remember Kanye got lipo? Kanye, who you go to? Okay. But shout out to Kanye. Like, cause I do like that shirt though. I ain't even gonna sit here and lie. That shirt is real cute. All right, y'all. So Javante Davis. Javante Davis is a mess. <laughs> Girl, he gonna forever be a mess. So, long story short, uh, Javante Davis is now in jail 
because he violated his house arrest. Um, we talked about this story the other day. He was involved in a hit and run in 2020. Um, he, the judge would not allow him to go to Florida because she said that it would probably be a vacation for him. Um, uh, I don't think she also, she didn't want him to stay. He also has a penthouse in Baltimore at the Four Seasons. I know that penthouse is probably nice. He basically put he was going to be staying at a at his trainer's house, right? And I don't know about this entire time, but um, he was staying at the penthouse. And the judge found out that he was not at the address that he put on the paper. And so he went to jail. And so this is what he had to say um, on a phone call from behind bars. Man, I just want to say to uh, let the people know that this this this, this judge is crazy, bro. This the judge is she locked me up because um, basically I bought a property. I did everything in my power to listen to my lawyers. We have sixty seconds remaining. Uh, to the home detention um, people, I listen to everybody to the key. She's mad that I bought a property. That's why I'm sitting in jail. She said that um, I shouldn't. Have. She wanted me to be in my in an apartment, a one bed apartment. You know what I mean? And I couldn't even, you know what I mean? Uh, take that. You know what I mean? She wanted me to stay in a one bed apartment, kind of have my kids and nothing come visit me and things like that. I just want to spread, uh, you know, uh, spread light on this situation because. She's taking advantage of me. She put it has 30 seconds remaining. And, and, and she's, 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 throwing, she's throwing stuff at me. You know what I don't like? Can I say something? I just, I, you know, you know what? You know what I want us to all start doing? When you're wrong, just say you're wrong. I know that's hard for some people. Like, and from what I've read in this situation, this is a one plus one equals two. You heard him say she want me to stay in a one bedroom apartment, <laughs> right? <laughs> shout out to everybody, <laughs> girl. Shout out to everybody. What? <laughs> shout out to everybody with a one bedroom apartment, girl. He said, "Girl, that lady want me to stay in a one." A one <laughs> girl, he said that lady want me to stay in a one bedroom. Uh uh-uh. uh, I'm not sitting in a one bedroom. Well. I know that's his. I know that's his trainer's apartment, because that's the address that he was supposed to be staying at. Right? He put down an ad. This is the thing, Negro. Ain't nobody like. I'm tired of people trying to act like. Okay, you have somebody like. No, I'm just gonna keep it on Javante. You have somebody like Javante Davis, who seems to be a dentist, another dentist to menace. Okay, I uh, we ha- we have seen that one that man. Grab his first baby mama or one of his baby mamas by her neck, neck and yank her out of a room. Room full of people. Then we hear another story of another baby mama, because I don't know how many baby mamas he got, that said that he put his hands on her. She came back and said that she lied or she recanted, whatever, right? I still think she, girl, her, I go like Nene and the other girls. She lied about lying, okay? Um, and now we have, we have an incident from 2020 where he was involved in a hit and run. You put your you you put your trainer's address on the paper as the residence you will be staying at. You did that. <laughs> and you violated the terms because you were not where you were supposed to be at. And now you want to say she got it out for you. No, nigga, you're not taking care of your business. It's very plain and simple. She won't let my kids come and see me. Well, girl, if your ass was in jail, could your kids come and see you then? I mean, I guess they could come see you on Sundays. Maybe should have asked, could my kids come see me on Sundays? <laughs> I don't know how that works. Shout out to all the girls out there with a baby daddy in jail. Tell us how they work. Oh, a baby daddy that's on house arrest. All y'all that's been on house arrest, let us know how that work for real. I'm not trying to be funny right now. <laughs> y'all know it's not like I'm being messy. I'm not being messy. For those who have the, uh, who have had to serve house arrest, let us know how that works. Are you allowed to have visitors? Are your children allowed to come over? Right. Um, 
was the judge wrong for basically saying you going to jail because you're not where you're supposed where you where you're supposed to be? You put the girl, why didn't put your, why didn't you if you didn't want to be in a one bedroom apartment, then girl, why didn't you put your mama's address or your daddy's or your best friends or your cousin or somebody's? It's called accountability. And a lot of people lack that. Everybody ain't coming after you. Everybody ain't after you. Javante, you just a mess. And you probably gonna forever be a mess. All right, y'all. Y'all are here for it. Remy Ma says she's 35, not 43, because she doesn't count the years in prison. Um, Remy Ma did look nice at her birthday. Uh, neighbors get into this. Remy Ma's birthday was a few days ago, and the rapper brought in her 43rd, a.k.a. her 35th birthday with all of her friends and family um, at a birthday party in Jersey City while giving a toast at the party. Remy declared that she's eight years younger than her real age because she doesn't count her years in prison. I said, well, girl. I said, girl, not you trying to act like Dre. You're talking about, girl, the years don't count. Don't they fall off? No, Remy, bitch, you're 43. You're 43. You got them years in prison, they count. Uh-huh. They do. They do. Okay. Um, so I appreciate all of you coming to my 35th birthday party, she said to the crowd. Um, I don't effing count the ones I was in prison. And I don't count the I don't count the ones during COVID. As y'all all know, she was sentenced to eight years in prison back in 2007 for shooting a woman outside a nightclub. She was later released in 2014. Um, honestly, Remy, I don't blame you. AJ, nothing but a number. Thoughts, neighbors. I mean, girl, you can say what you want to say. <laughs> you can say what you want to say, girl. Remy, Remy, in this picture, Remy could get away with looking 35. But you know, it is what it is. Girl, so we taking it. We taking age. We take. We change now. Well, how old? Are, how old are you? Girl, let everybody make up a new age, girl. Okay, so all the girls has been in jail. All the girls. Okay, we all had to go through the pandemic. So, girl, I'm gonna. I'm gonna take off two, three years off my age. <laughs> Cause that don't count. How many years y'all taking off y'all age? <laughs> Okay. Let's start the Remy Ma trend, okay? We taking we taking years off of our age. If your ass been in jail, if you've been in prison, if you've been an inmate five seven two dash three three zero zero five seven girl, however many years you serve, take it off, take it off of your real age. If your ass was here during the pandemic, well, we all were, girl. Take it off your age, okay? So how old are you? Okay. Anyways, uh, I'm gone. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. <laughs> this is the picture that did it for me. <laughs> Girl, Kanye look like he do <laughs> Why Kanye looks like someone who is talking to a child? <laughs> Kanye probably telling his wife, bitch, I know you hot. <laughs> I know you hot. Kim would have wore it. <laughs> look how he, look, she looking down like this. And Kanye and, uh, and Kanye getting her together. She hot. Bitch, I know you hot. Kim with a war. It's fashion. <laughs> it's fashion. I know you can't breathe. <laughs> Rip me out the plastic. <laughs> okay. What's that song? What's that what's that viral part that's going uh I mean what's that part that's going viral? Rip me out the plastic like I'm brand new. Girl, she said, take this shit off of me. Girl, this is what happens when you want to be with Kanye West, honey. He'll have you walking around here at 12 o'clock. Girl, Kanye will have you walking around here at 1.13 in the afternoon looking like a goddamn fool walking down the street with a stocking over your face. Girl! This is not the Met Gala. Kanye said, it's a Met Gala every day for me. <laughs> okay? Oh, Jack, Kanye is a fool. I'm going to get that shirt, though, watch. <laughs>